Hey guys, I'm out here working on the uh, Craftsman again, and um, it's like 7.30 in the morning, and uh, I was supposed to have school today because today's Tuesday, but uh, let's just get like 48 inches now, which I doubt we're going to get, but, so my school is closed, and um, so I got up and I checked in, my school is closed, and now I'm all, you know, dressed and up, so I might as well just get working on this. Just eat some breakfast, and um, I'm going to show you my plans on this machine. I'm going to try to get this all done by today. So, um, depends if it snows, because if it snows, I'm going to be snow shoveling, but it's not going to snow until like 9, 10, so. But my plans are to remove the rear end, or transaxle. Remove the motor. See, I just put it all together. Remove, um. Move. Um, I might remove this throttle. I'm thinking about just disconnecting the cable. That's what I'm gonna do. Just disconnect the cable. Taking off this whole shifter. Taking off the shifter and the shifter mount and the bar and the bar under it. Taking off all that. This bar, I might keep. I'm not sure. I'm probably just going to keep it here for now. Because that's going to be my gas pedal and brake. I don't know what this will be for. I already have knee brake, so. And this throttle I'm not even going to use because on um, these motors you have a choke. And you have to get up to a pull start anyway, so there's really no point. So you have to, you know, get up, pull start it, put it on run. Let her warm up a little bit. And, um... So I said those are my plans, and then to start removing stuff from underneath, um, like uh, those tensioner pulleys, uh, belt belt like brackets, um, all kind of linkages and stuff for trans. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep the linkages for the brake under it. I'm just gonna have them dangle down, but because I'm gonna hook that up to a rear brake, so I'm gonna keep that. You know, so I'm going to keep the, uh, the linkages and all the linkages off the shifters and stuff so so I could fabricate something. But, um, sort of my plans. I take up springs and stuff, just remove that. Basically, I want to strip everything out from basically behind the seat to this. It doesn't seem like a lot, but there is because there's so much shit up under there. So, first thing I got to do is remove that transaxle. But I just want to remove everything under there and above from this point back because then I want to get a pressure washer and pressure washer but it's 20 degrees out so I'm gonna have to wait so uh, while I'm waiting for the weather to warm up um, I'm gonna order up the parts and I'm gonna get working on the front end I want to try to get the back end all stripped down and start working on the front end and maybe uh I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the transax or the motor. I might sell them on Craigslist. I think I'm going to hold on for them for a little bit. You know, I might put them on Craigslist see how much money I could fetch for them. But probably not much since the motor isn't running. But yeah, that's my plans. You know, start working on the front end. Take that up. Take it all apart. Wire brush. Start doing all that stuff. And I was looking at some parts and uh, I changed my list around. I took off all the brake parts and I added rims. I added some 6 inch by 5 and something. I can't think. It's like a 16th or 6. I don't know. Something like that. But they're 1 inch bore, quarter inch keyways. And they're like white ones. And um, I'm going to get a 30. I think I'm going to get 32 inch. I'm gonna, I have to measure it for the back. I'm gonna get a uh, axle hangers, a uh, sprocket with a with a bore. And I'm just gonna go trade supply and get a hub and just put it in there and weld it on. And I think I had some axle lockers on there. They're about a buck a piece. So that's all about a hundred bucks by the time you're done. And then I did shipping. It, I calculated it's like twenty bucks. So it'd be like one thirty plus tax and all the other shit. So. Uh, Hey guys, I'm going to get cracking on this uh, tractor and then I'll get back to you. 
Hey guys, so what I did is I tilted the tractor up on the front. And, um, so I could access basically the hole underneath without crawling. Because I was crawling under, I was like, this thing's a pain in the ass to do. So, uh, I got the motor out. There's like five or six bolts on this hole. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's only a little five horsepower. Like, that's a Husqvarna, that, and that's a seven and a half or seven and three quarters. I'm not even sure. What is this? Yes, yeah, seven point seven five horsepower. Now only has four bolts. This is like six holding it on. The f I took the rear end down like a couple minutes. I tilted this up because this was a pain in the ass. So I could just imp the thing is, there's like clutch. There's a clutch spring. I cut out my end grinder. There's a clutch. The this pulley and shit. There's all these linkages and stuff in the way. So you gotta really remove all that. And this is the mower deck engager. I just took that out. It hooks up to, I think it's a shifter on the side. I think it's the mower deck engaging. Let's see. Yeah. See, it hooks up to there. Hooks up to this bar right here. You got a giant mess. Got to clean that out so I can get my snow blower out. Um, see, so yeah, there's all these parts to pull out. And, Belt retainers, and then the belt, wherever the hell that is, somewhere down there. All these brackets, and there's these brackets that hold on that. So right here, you gotta make sure you put the bolt back in for your, this is the foot, foot support, deck support, or whatever, for the body. So you gotta make sure you put your bolts back in. I just noticed that, so I put them back in. And then, you have two bars here. I don't even know which one goes to which, but... I only know what this one's hooked up to. I think it's, I think this one. This one's hooked up to, yeah, because I cut it by accident a little bit with the end grinder. This one is the brake, I believe. This one's a brake. Definitely going to have to shorten it. And this one is the shifter, I believe. Or, or that one's a brake. I'm not really sure. I'll just push my brake and find out. I think it's this one. Because this piece moves and that's the safety switch. But, oh uh, yeah, so. I'm probably going to take this rod out so it doesn't get caught. Um, this is for the... This is for the shifter, I believe. Yeah, it's for a shifter because I took out the sh oh, I took out the shifting rod right there. Yeah. So that's a shifter. I'm gonna unbolt that. Take out that bracket or linkage. I meant. Figure out which one's a brake. Oh well, one's a brake and one's a clutch, or something like that. Some stupid setup they had. And then uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna tilt it back, put the. The back, the back of it, I'm just gonna put on the chair in the front. I'm gonna put on the jack stands. I'm gonna start tearing apart the front after I get a couple of these linkages off by, and you flip it over first to do it. So, you guys, uh, that's just my little update. It only took me about 30 minutes, so I'll uh, see you guys later. Hey guys, it's like 9 10 in the morning. It's 9, uh, 9 10 in the morning. 9 12, somewhere around there. <laughs> But, um, I just want to show you some, a couple things. Well, this is the only really rust. The rest is just barely surface. And this is surface rust. This isn't even, like, heavy-duty rust. Like, you know, rusted all the way through. It's right here in this one little corner where it's, where it's the worst. And I got a little bit on the pieces here and on the, um, you can see there steering and stuff but uh steering has some play in it but I can fix it when I put it all back together and what I'm gonna do is basically wire brush this with my angle grinder and just paint it with some paint just to protect it and I got off the one tie rod thing there I gotta take off uh, this bolt I think this pin pops out or something because there's no pivot in it which is good for what I'm doing, there's no pivot, there's just play. See, look, I need to put some more washers and new bush. I need to put 
new bushings and washers. If I guess I haven't told you, told this yet, yeah, I don't think I did. But these tires, they're solid rubber, so they uh, can't go flat. You know, they're solid rubber, so they'll last like forever, pretty much. And they're small, and there's a really small diameter, so uh, that would be good for what I'm doing, because I want to race, not race it, like, like, not really race it, just sort of, like, have a live axle and just sort of drive around. I could race, but I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, I gotta take this all apart and rebuild the new bushings, washers, add grease fittings there. I'm gonna add a grease fitting right there on each side, because I don't have them. Uh, you need to take off a couple of bolts and brackets, grease up the gears up in there. There's my steering gears. I don't know if you guys can see that real good, but now this piece right here, it's part of the mower deck. I gotta take that off, but it's like all connected to the brake. It's really stupid. So when you hit your brake or something, you can engage it or I don't know, some stupid crap like that. But yeah, so gotta take off a couple of these bolts. I don't really feel like doing them today, or now at least. I might get on this later, but I'm a little, a little tired because I've been working at this for a couple of hours. And these are a couple pieces I saved. This one's off. Uh, this is like a tube. It's like hollow tube, and this one's solid that I can use for my break. And also got a couple of those down there. Yeah, let me see which one's which. They're just uh thing rubbing. I don't know, because I think you can use both of these because they're both moving, but I think one of them. I don't know. Because this is a clutch and brake, so one's a clutch, one's a brake, but I'm going to use the one on the left prob probably. I might have to extend it. Because uh, the brakes can be on the on this side, left this if left you're looking on it, but right if you're looking from the back. Pretty much got it all cleaned up. I want to take all that out, rebuild it. I need to move these somewhere. Oh, and this is my new uh, steel scrap. I have some out back. I have tons of scrap out back, but this is just my indoor thing. You know, I just whatever I do in here, just throw it in there. I just have the lid open because I was throwing bolts and nuts and shit in there. Because I only have a trash can, so. Have one, it's just outside, and the trash main just came, so I have to go bring it in. But yeah, I got, I got tons of scrap. This is all my, you know, like I said the other day. Aluminum, copper, like all that copper. And there's that one thing, yeah, I told you. But like, look, look this is how much you get from one... I'm going to show you something. Some scrap you get from one of these little tab things. Just those one little tabs. I'll show you. Um, let me find one. Some of them I combined. On the top is all fine stuff. All clean copper. High money. Um, let's see. This is... This is about... This is copper. Just a different color. This is about how much you get from one of those. And I and there's my dad count them, there's thirty six. And we couldn't take off those other two. So there's thirty four. These things are pretty heavy. I put down my flashlight. Don't have a scale, but I'm guessing quarter of a pound. Maybe maybe a third of a pound. It's pretty heavy stuff. And I got, like I said, like 30-something of these. And one of them I combined, like, yeah, see, I got tons of these little nuggets. Little golden turds, as I call them. You know, I got, now I got this thing. This is all from, whoa. This is from one little, like, extension cord. This is at least a pound and a half. Gosh, shit, spilling copper everywhere, but this is... From one little like extension cord. I don't know what it's from now, but I think it's from my washing machine. So if you guys find some washing machines, get them, cause they got high. Mo these things, these giant roll things, these are really heavy because they have steel in them. They're still heavy, 
but those giant things are found in the bottom. Thing I don't know, that must have came from an extension cord or something. I don't know where that came from. That giant piece, I don't know where I got it from. And then I, I got the wiring harness in there. So I didn't feel like stripping that. Because that's just too hard to strip. It's not worth it, really. But, um, I got this uh, pressure washer pump. I think it's steel on the inside of aluminum. So I'm going to scrap it as aluminum. This thing weighs 15, 20 pounds. 40, 50 cents a pound. You know, 10, you know, you got about 9 bucks right there. Just in that one little piece. Shit. Gotta watch out for that piece. But, um, yeah, it's just my little update on this. So I got, I got playing here. If you can look at the wheels, not moving. Well, I got tons of play now that it's not even connected. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not even connected. But when it's all together, I have like this much play probably. It's all sloppy and stuff. I need to fix all that up. This is deck engagement, which I might remove. Spins a rod down there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, it's my little video, a little update, man. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, up my door some trash, but they only got recyclables today, so fuck. Or they're gonna get it later on, but I don't know if you can see it. Let's go up on a car. We got snow. It's starting to snow. But I need to shut my door. So that little heater, it actually heated up like. It's like 60 degrees in here, but now it's like 50. And it's only 20 outside. I got my gas cans refilled already. Pretty sure they're filled. My dad only filled one of them. He only filled the one. Guess he didn't want me having any two-stroke. Uh-oh. I might put on the tires. No, I'm not going to do that. It'll take too long. But, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, so, uh... I'll uh, see you guys later.